I led you guys wrong. That's how we do it in the sound. What's going on, guys, and welcome to Rabbits Used Cars. You know, sometimes you got to eat crow. And you know, sometimes, you know, some things are so humbling in life that this pull you back. And, you know, I give a lot of life advice on here. You know, sometimes I'm not even meaning it. You guys really, you know, take a lot from it. You know, I read a lot of the comments. I see, you know, Rabbit, you know, I need to hear this today. Or, you know, Rabbit, you know, you, you know, this. And this is one time where a video, actually, I learned from it. And, um, you know, sometimes you need to practice what you preach. And, and we're all guilty of that from time to time. You know, you know, it's easy, it's easy to say the right thing, but to actually do it. And kind of got called out on it in a weird way. And, you know, I was like, I was right. And, and I took my own advice. And uh, I feel better about it. And I, and I, and I thought, like, you know, this channel, you know, and, you know, it's so ha it's so easy to give you the high points and like, oh, yeah, we're doing this, this, and this. We're buying this. We're doing this. And we're doing this. And this is on drugs. And this is, you know, sleazy sellers and all this stuff. But I don't know. This one, you know, this video, this is more of a me video. Kind of sharing my experience and how I learn from my own video, which is crazy. Um... So, to tell you this story, I got to stop here and jump back and tell you another story. Um, you know, so I was dating a very, very attractive female that, uh, very sweet, you know, uh, girl, she lived out of state. And, uh, you know, and me and her just hit it off. And, and just, you know, just everything was great. And, and, and you know, and you know, the thing is, my life is running 90 miles a minute. And something that, a problem that I've had in dating in the past, and to this day still, is meeting people is easy. Finding people that are there for the right reasons and finding people that can keep up and there for the right reasons is even harder. Um, you know, I didn't ask for this life and you know and, and and I love it. I'm not complaining about it. I love it. I love talking to you guys. I love you know the the TV stuff that we're starting to see pop up. We're starting to see matter of fact I read a magazine this morning that's talking about the new TV show and and you know it's kind of kind of funny actually uh the line in this article saying that uh Old Rob the Rabbit Pitts is going to knock Richard Rollins out of his throne as the cable TV car show king. And that's their opinion. Made me smile a little bit. But I love all of this, you know, and this has opened up doors for me to want things that I never even knew I wanted. Um, you know, you got to understand that I have idolized for years just like a lot of you guys have you know all these guys on television you know doing the car stuff doing what they love you know i mean you're jesse james and you know, even richard rollins and and you know dave kendig and and all these big names you know and, and all these people and, and 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 like you know i looked up to these guys like i mean these guys and i and i and you know it's it's so funny that you go from fanboy watching them to, you know, like I've done interviews with them on the radio. Like, I mean, I've got these guys' phone numbers in my phone, you know. We've got, you know, you know, swapping YouTube secrets back and forth. And even some of the big YouTube guys. I mean, I'm a huge Tavares fan. I love Freddie, you know. And even before that, you know, Vin Wicky, Ed Bullitt. Ed Bullitt, Ed Bullitt's a cool-ass guy. I mean, that's and he's like one of my best friends now, you know. And that's... I mean, we're, hell, we're having Christmas dinner son, or Saturday. You know, that's, that's the thing, like, it's so crazy, this life, you know. And, and I went from, you know, a guy that, that had a radio show 
that that I only thought my mother listened to, to, you know, making YouTube videos, to filming for Netflix, to, you know, all this stuff and doing car shows and meet and greets and, and meeting all you guys. And I love it. Like, like it's so crazy because I was on the other side. And I, I, and I think that's why that I have so much fun at these events because I've seen the bad side. I've seen some of these guys that are not good people, um, that are nowhere near what they let off to be on television. Um, and some of them are even bigger and larger in life in person, and they're great people. And some of them are my very best friends now. Um, but moving forward, you know, because of that, my schedule is extremely crazy. Um, this past Saturday, I actually went to a Christmas dinner with my mother. You know, I was her plus one. You know, can't leave mom out, you know, for the holidays. And I was mom's plus one to a Christmas dinner. And I started thinking about it. This is the third Saturday, third Saturday this year, keep in mind it's December, that I've actually been in town. And I mean, it's, you know, Texas, California, you know, UK, Florida, Alabama, you know, Tennessee, North Carolina, you know, Atlanta, you know, Oklahoma. I mean, everywhere and, and numerous places I'm leaving out in between. Um, and it's, it's, it's so crazy and I love it, you know, and then you, know, you mix all the wild car sales into it. And, and I mean, I've got the best job in the world. I mean, literally if a man walked up right now and said, you know, I'll give you all the money in the world, but you got to quit what you're doing. I tell them kick rocks because I'll be honest with you, all the money in the world can't buy what I have right now. I am literally at 43 years old. I'm probably, I'm probably the happiest I've ever been in my life with my work front. Um, and I love it. I love it. I love talking to you guys. I love feeling like, like I help with things, you know, I mean, it makes, you know, I mean, I want to be entertaining and I want to be that guy, but I also want to be that guy that's got a little substance to him, you know, and, 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 and that's back to staring back to where we were at. You know, a lot of these videos, we'll drop some motivational videos. You know, if I'm having a bad day, you're going to know about it, you know, and I'm going to tell you about it, you know, or, you know, and that's the thing, you know, at the end of the day, I'm pretty cocky, but I can also, the stand-up comedian in me can also make myself the joke when it needs to be. And I can do that because to be able to tell a joke, you got to be able to take a joke. And a lot of times my life has been a joke. Um, you got to laugh or drive you fucking crazy. Um, Pointing this point we're coming up to. Um, so we released a video and keep in mind, you know, back when Matt was filming with us, we filmed like 40 videos ahead. So, I mean, we were hammering them out for a long time because we knew we were going to be filming in Texas and I knew I was going to be there for at least four months and ended up being there about four and a half months. Um, so we filmed all these videos ahead of time and it was cold as shit. I mean, it was literally winter time last year when we were filming these. And we filmed a video called Know Your Worth. And it, it touched on dating a little bit. It touched on things. It was just one of those things that is so weird. And I don't want to sound like a Southern Baptist preacher when I say this, but it's the truth. Like, it gets to weigh in on my heart. And I feel like I need to talk to you guys about it because if it's bothering me, I'll it's probably bothering somebody else or somebody else in that same situation or something similar or whatever. And this was one of those moments. And I'll never forget, we actually shot this video. We were on the far side of the warehouse there, and it was kind of dark. You know, that was kind of Matt's MO. And uh, he liked to shoot in the, in the dark. But, you know, we were shooting over there, and I, I remember I had a brown leather jacket on. And, and like, we were shooting. It was cold as shit. And, and I was just talking about it because it was weighing on my heart because, you know, I had, you know, friends that are going through, you know, breakups and things like that. And, and you know, they're dating girls that, that you know outside looking at are total trash. You know, are just not good people. You know, and I'm not saying they're bad people, but they're just not good for you. You know, and, and you know, you got to think about it. When you bring so much to the table and I'm not saying it needs to be 50 50 or you know you need somebody to take care of you but you know you need somebody that, that that can be there for you you know I mean it's not monetarily it's hell it's just compassion you know or anything just showing the care and you know the world's a cold ass place and it's getting worse I believe every day but 
With that being said, let me move forward to where I was at. So keep in mind, we recorded all those videos. Months and months, way before we were leaving to go film. And like I said, we filmed that video and we flew out in March. I was dating this very attractive girl. Like I said, she lived out of state. She lived about six hours away. And, you know, we see each other on the weekends and, you know, going back and forth or whatever. And it was great. You know, you got to think about it. With my schedule, it's really hard for me to date someone normal. And when I say normal, like far as like a normal dating schedule, you know, you see a girl two or three times a week and you go out on the weekends. I don't have that luxury because usually a lot of times, you know, through the week or some of my better days off because on the weekends, you know, you got events, your book to do or something you got to do. Or, you know, if I'm going to go look at cars or go buy cars, we got to think about a lot of people work day jobs, so they can't do it during the week. So I've got to go on the weekends. I'm kind of working when they're off. And, and, you know, and things like that. So naturally, my weekends get pretty full pretty quick. And, you know, that being said, it worked out really good because the distance, you know, whenever we had a couple of days, I'm like, hell, I'll bust ass up there or she'd bust ass down here or whatever. Or we'd meet in the middle somewhere for a weekend or, or a couple of days or whatever. And it worked out good. It, I mean, it went really nice. But in the same token, this relationship was going longer and longer and longer. But when you're not around somebody so, so much, you know, distance makes the heart grow fonder. But it also, you don't really get to know somebody day in, day out. You know what I mean? But it's progressing because you've been together for you know, months and months and months. And next thing you know, you're like, man, this is pretty serious. When realistically, you've only seen this person, you know, seven or eight times. And it's, you know, getting more and more and more. And, you know, this person's watching all the videos that I, that I filmed. And I'll be honest with you, you know, we've shot so many of these damn things. They start running together after a while. I mean, even for me. And, you know, it's, you know, it's kind of crazy. So fast forward, you know, everything's going good on the date front. We're filming the show out in Texas. You know, she's flying in. You know, matter of fact, flew in for her birthday, celebrated her birthday right there on the set with us in Texas. You know, that was great. You know, laughing, laugh, you know, all this good stuff. You know, red carpet events and yada, yada, yada. What are you doing over here, Jeff? <laughs> so hard to film these things when he's over here. I hope he's vaping. But anyway, anyway, moving on. Just totally broke my train of thought. But moving on, you know, going red carpet events, doing all this stuff, you know. And, and you know, the thing is, it's easy to get along with somebody when it's all fun stuff. You know what I mean? When you're going out of town, you're excited, you're seeing new things, you're going shopping, or you're going to do this, or, you know, it, it's, that's not a relationship. That's, that's good time fun, you know. And, 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 and that's important, too. But the same token... You know, you get to thinking about things. And this is where the video bit me in the ass. And I actually had to kind of, you know, pretty much explain myself. And once I explained myself, I kind of had to practice, start to practice what I preach because this wasn't what, it was, what I was saying and what I was doing was literally the, the polar opposite. Um, so anyway, this... Uh, this girl I was dating, we were in Texas, and she's already been down there three or four times at this point. We were in, in my apartment in Texas, and this gorgeous apartment. And you got to think about this it, Texas in the summer, sun's out, gorgeous pool fountains, all this yada, yada, yada. And I mean, it's just a beautiful backdrop. And I'll never forget, she actually walks into my apartment. She was by the pool, and she walks into my apartment, and she goes, I was just watching one of your YouTube videos dropped. And I'm like, which one? And it's talking about know your worth. And I'm like, oh, heck, what'd you think? Does it sound good? You know, yada, yada. Because I haven't previewed it or anything at this point. And um, she goes, yeah, I did. She goes, what the hell did you mean by that? Now, keep in mind, I recorded this video before I even met this girl. But I'm like, I mean, you know, I don't know. And we had a, we had a party we were going to that night. And I said, I don't know. I said, I'll tell you what, I need to watch it. I'll be honest with you. And I told her, they start running together. I, you know, off the top of my head, I don't know. So we're getting ready for this party. I'm in the shower getting ready. And I'm, you know, doing my thing, washing my hair, whatever. I'm in the shower. And it hits me. Literally what I was talking about. I'm like, that video. 
So I get out of the shower and I, I pick up my phone and you know open up my YouTube app and, and I look, sure enough, it's the video I thought it was. And it was talking about knowing your worth and what you bring to the table and how, you know, and, and, and that's the thing you gotta think about. And so she walks out and she's seeing me with my phone in my hand and that video was playing as I was walking out of the bathroom and she goes, what do I bring to the table? And I'm over here like, uh. I mean, I was, and I tried to save it, you know, tried to save face. And I, and I, and I probably should have, uh, but I did, you know, and I'm like, a lot of things. I said, you know, you're, you're, you're a very sweet girl, you know, and, and you know, you, you got, you got your head on straight and just keep it very generic, just trying to smooth it out, you know, and, uh, you know, we went to the party and the party went fine. We had a good time and, and we, we came back that night and nothing else was said that evening. The well, next morning I wake up and make me a cup of coffee like I always do and walk down on, on the patio and sitting there, you know, trying not to melt in the Texas sun instantly at seven o'clock in the morning. It's hotter than the seven months of hell. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I can't leave this where it's at. Like it was bothering me. It was eating at me because I told you guys, and what I told you guys is the truth, but I'm not following it. And that makes me a hypocrite. And anybody that's around this person for more than 45 seconds and saw that video would know I was a hypocrite. Because it's very, very, very easy to see why she was there. You know, she's very attractive, very pretty. The end. Um, and, you know, I'm not saying she was there for just a good time. So I'm not saying she was just, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying any of that. But at the same token, she didn't bring any of the qualities to the table that I told you guys this should be going on. And all that night, and that morning, like I said, was weighing on me. Like, I led you guys wrong because I told you this, and then I go and do the opposite. As my camera guy shakes his head at me over there. Shame. And I, started, I mean, it really did, it bothered me. And all that day, it was on the back of my mind. And I'll never forget, when I, we went to lunch and just goofing off or whatever, and, uh, you know, and it's, it's actually on, on, you know, like near my birthday at this point. And uh, she was flying out the next day. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to keep the peace. I'm going to keep the peace. But we started talking about it a little bit. And I felt like I need to rectify it a little bit and, and bring it in. And I said, you know, you got to understand, you know, where we're at. We're at two totally different places in our life. And she was like, well, I just feel insulted watching this video. And I said, are you insulted or does it hit home? And naturally, she didn't like that response. And um, needless to say, that was the demise of that relationship. And, uh, and it moved way downhill fast from there. Um, but at the end of the day, we'll save pace and take the high road, which apparently doesn't run through her town. But, you know, at the end of the day, it was fun while it lasted. But the thing at the end of the day, you know, you got to look out for you. You got to look out what's best for you. Everybody in the world is looking to latch their claws into something that's moving. And there's nothing wrong with teaming up with a winner. But you got to make sure that person, if they're going to jump on your boat, they're willing to row too. And that's the most important thing. And I saw a person that I'm pretty sure didn't have much rowing ability. Well, life's too short to be dragging dead weight. Take that for what it is, guys. But you know what? Like, I felt the need to share that with you because I don't want anybody to think that I'm over here talking it and I'm not living it. So, hell, I actually learned from my very own video. I might be a good motivational speaker yet. Hey, it worked for old Tony. What's his name? Tony Robbins. That's all right. We're going to switch gears, shoot motivational videos. Next thing you know, <laughs> I'm giving Jeff ideas. Guys, we'll catch you next time at Rabbit's Used Cars.